So in today's lesson, we are looking at electrical resistance. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to calculate the currents, voltages and resistances of a component in a series circuit. Understand how the voltage of a circuit in a series circuit depends on the applied voltage and its components. And describe the qualitative effect of changing resistance on the currents in a circuit. And know that lamps and LEDs can be used to indicate the presence of a current in the circuit. And finally, know and use the following relationships. V equals IR. Q equals I times T, which we've already looked at, and E equals Q times V. So what is resistance? Well, resistance is essentially the opposition to current in a circuit. Okay, it slows down the current. And a resistor is the device that we use in a circuit to slow down the current. And that is the appropriate circuit symbol there. So you have to be familiar with the resistance equation, also known as Ohm's law, and it is resistance equals a voltage times current, where V is voltage in volts, I is current in amperes, and resistance is resistance in ohms. Is that very interesting symbol there? And you can also, of course, rearrange the equation. So V equals IR. And also I equals the voltage divided by the resistance. So how do you measure resistance? Well, the resistance of any component, in this particular case in the image here, a bulb can be found by measuring the current through and the voltage across the component. Okay, so ammeters are always in series and voltmeters are always in parallel across the component. And this way, you can generate current voltage graphs. Okay, you can see it from the uh, image there. You basically create a circuit where you allow a component that changes with the change in current. Okay, so the circuit opposite is illustrated, can be used to get a current voltage graph for a particular resistance. Okay, so you set up the voltmeter across the resistor. You have the ammeter in series in the circuit and you use the variable resistor to apply a range of voltages across the resistor. Okay, because what the variable resistor will do is adjust the current. So you get a range of different voltages and currents. And there are some typical results there at the bottom of the slide. And if you plot those particular results, and your current voltage graph is a straight line at constant temperature, then it means that the resistor obeys Ohm's law, and therefore we call it an ohmic resistor. 